It's upbopsimillionaires.com, a little about an hour before the opening bell, a little about, a little about. Uh, it's a Wednesday, it's sometime the end of September, the 27th. Uh, if you look, S&P 500 futures here, we'll go over some charts, look at the market, S&P 500 futures, NASDAQ to Russell. S&P 500 futures chopping around this 2500 level, surpassing it for the very first time since cavemen swapped rocks uh, on the cavemen rock exchange in 600 BC. Uh, the market has been continuing to grind to the upside. If you look at the S&P 500 now, consolidating. This is consolidation. As you see, the VIX starting to, to melt down under 10 again, setting up for a blast to record highs. Speaking of record highs, the Russell 2000, small caps, new all-time record high yesterday. If you look long-term perspective, remember that election dip? We were down nine days in a row that Friday before the election, ripped to the upside. Similar type move, we had this pullback at the end of July, start of August. Oh, no. This is the end of small caps, and then we have this massive move to the upside. Looks like a possible breakout here, which would bring the IWM possibly to the 150 level. Uh, NASDAQ not as friendly recently, although recovering this morning, we have some upgrades, some positive earnings from Micron. If you look, though, respecting trend line support, NASDAQ broke that 6,000 level for the first time in recorded history. Again, since the cavemen were swapping rocks at the, the Rock uh, Exchange back in 600 BC. Uh, and again, the VIX, all those rips to the upside continue to sell off, implying a move higher for the market. The VIX is down over 3.7% this morning. And of course, we had uh, the Federal Reserve uh, back in July. We saw that 884 all-time record low print for the VIX. I think that's where we're heading back to, implying, again, continued upside for this market. There's a lot of headwinds. We continue to talk about the headwinds. 2017 is uh, North Korea. It's uh, 2017's version of Greece. Remember Greece back in 2014. So let's look at some chart. We have XLE, the energy ETF XLE. And you can see it's coming up to an interesting point in the chart here. Uh, huge move in September. A possible breakout here was uh, a lot of people turning bullish on oil, which should uh, send energy up and, and some individual names, probably a better trade here. A uh, rig, which was up yesterday despite a little bit of pullback for XLE. See rig is broken into uh, double digits for the first time in quite a while, uh, which would imply here a move up to possibly $15, which is uh, a nearly 50% move here from current prices. Uh, how about a stock like CRR, Cobra Ceramics? You can see that it's starting to move up. This is stock that look at the prices that we'd seen back in 2011 and 2014. Um, and you remember back in 2007 before the market finally crashed, we had a just this manic oil uh, spike to the upside. Uh, so we had crude oil uh, back in just before the financial crisis. You see the breakout we had to the upside. So, I mean, gosh, just imagine some of the moves we could possibly see here over the short to medium term uh, with some of these energy names. Uh, so we have CRR and RIG would be the individual ones. And if uh, you think that this uh, energy move is going to continue to the upside, we're at this interesting juncture. Here. If you look from a shorter term perspective, we break above it, hold it. You can see we're starting to, to possibly flat. And here, against the long-term chart, 10-year monthly chart for XLE. Certainly energy to watch here, <clears throat> heading into the end of 2017. Something else to watch. I know uh, <laughs> we've been mocking the gold bulls for a long time. Uh, but again, gold to GLD uh, has been breaking out out of this uh, long-term uh, down downward channel. You can see the breakout. Uh, but to watch even closer is the gold miners. One, one of my favorites to trade, GDX. Look at this wedge here in a 2017 for me, it's been the year of the wedge. We've had Baidu and Tree, a uh, host of other stocks. With uh, How about uh, URI? We'll get into that in a second. But you can see GDX, Gold Miners ETF, in this really tight wedge here, ready to break, I believe, to the upside. This could be some leap calls to 25 calls. Uh, would be a nice on the break uh, for for a, a move, again, and a continuation, possibly to 30. Uh, at the end of the year, there would be a sharp move, but I think something... Uh, to watch for again these wedges could break in either direction so it's not a hundred percent certain that we're going to get the break to the upside could be the downside uh but uh, just certainly a, a great setup as prices have started to narrow again let's look at small caps russell new all-time record highs again we had the dip to start 2016 we had the dip to start uh just before the election and we had the dip most recently and look the two previous dips have seen significant moves to the upside. So we could be just in the early stages of this rally that's going to get IWM to 150 in the short to medium term. Again, we have the pullback to start 2016. Remember, the market, the bull market was over here. It was done. Uh, and, and actually, it just marked the next leg higher for the market. 
we started pulling back into the election. I mean, Donald Trump himself back here talked about how the market was a bubble. And yet here we go. He gets elected, a man who, who clearly called out the, the stock market as a bubble, now uh, rejoicing each time it hits new record highs. So uh, when you have the, the, the president of the United States uh, cheering the stock market, I mean, whew. and, you know, I, I saw some interesting uh, pieces this week and I was doing some research. I mean, the, you talk about this being a bubble, but it's certainly not like 2000 or 2007. Uh, we have less investors involved, the investing public, something like less than 50 percent are invested in stocks now compared to 60, 62 percent back in 2007 and 2000. So, I mean, you want to talk about this being one of those euphoric bubbles? We're not even close yet. We're not even, it's not, we're not at the point where everybody's investing in stocks. And I think when we get to that point, uh, the market's going to be a lot higher because a lot of the buying pressure over the last uh, five to seven years has been corporates buying back their own stocks. So we have less supply of stock now than ever before. Uh, so if you look, uh, some individual names that continue to work, MU, which reported earnings, pulled back into the earnings report back over 36, which had put it up near uh, a multi-year high. If you look from a long-term chart perspective, that was up over 95, the internet bubble. But again, here we are. Uh, we were bumping up against the highs that we saw back at the the end of 2014. Uh, NVIDIA is seeing a nice move to the upside. If you look from a shorter term perspective, uh, you can see it's come back to support here at about 170. And then we have Microsoft. Look at Microsoft. Just draw a trend line respecting support. New, uh, new all-time record highs for Microsoft recently, but looks poised to break over to 80 level. Caterpillar continues to work. To new all-time record highs. Consolidating. Bull flag. Uh, John Deere coming off the lows. Look at the support I drew, drew previously. Filled the gap. Looks poised to come up to new record highs for John Deere. And URI. A uh, beautiful wedge pointed out. You can see the breakout almost at record highs yesterday. Uh, looks poised for the 135 plus 140 in the short to medium term as it breaks out here. Uh, URI. And, and that's a, the hurricane play. All right. UPBOptionMillionaires.com. Uh, SP 500 futures are higher. The VIX is melting lower. Look at SP 500 futures. We're up two tenths of a percent, hanging around that 2500 level. See if we can break above it. It's been the tractor beam. The market has been just gyrating sideways despite the dips. Look at yesterday, late in the trading day, uh, heavy volume pullback, uh, erasing the, the, the slow, steady move up we've had off the morning lows. We'll see if we can sustain some upside action today. With the Nasdaq, which was up over four tenths percent yesterday, pulled back to actually uh, even. Look at this pullback we had before recovering, coming back, and overall just a, a, a complete round trip boomerang trade. Again, we're, we're pulling back from highs, so it's a little bit of a frustrating trade when you're long the market. We get these pullbacks, and and the same with being short the market. When you have these pullbacks, the bears get all excited. And then we have this nice inverted head and shoulders pattern move off the lows. So we'll see if we can get some continuation to finally break out of this consolidation. UBBOptionMillionaires.com. We'll see you in the chat room. Have a great training week.